So today we're going to do a, a quick tip on how to make a multi-language Adalo application. So this is the standard uh, create blank app from Adalo. So now we're just going to add a collection. Here we call this languages. Let's add two languages. And we're going to say that a user can have a language. And we're going to say that translations can have a language. Let's rename this to key. Let's make a new text called translation. Move this up. So now we'll add a translation. The key is going to be greeting. So this is the identifier for the field. Translation is going to be hello in English. And then we'll add another one. Greeting, we'll say bonjour in French. So now we have our two translations, one in English, one in French. And now we can implement. So we are going to first have a form. This is going to be our users. Where they can update their language. And skip the step. We want to update the logged in user. So now the next step is going to be implementing the translation. So the way that we do this is we drag a text field. I don't know if you've ever looked at this. More. So we're actually going to make this a list. The list is going to be of translations. We're going to filter it with the user translation. And the key for this is going to be greeting. So similar to a component name, this is now going to display the selected language for greeting. So if we've done that right, we'll sign up. We'll select the English. Oh, sorry, I did miss another step. The lists have components. And we need to bind that component to the translation of the current translation. Now we see hello. We update to French. And we see bonjour. So now if we wanted to add a second field, we could just go into our translations, make a new key, and we'll call this um, Say uh, call this 
So now we can simply take this, paste it. And instead of the reading, this is going to be our goodbye. Now we can see bonjour, salut. We can see hello, bye bye. So now, if you wanted to support more languages, you simply have to go add in whichever the language is going to be. And then don't forget to add the translations. So that's it. I hope you enjoyed it.